Shalom, this is Reverend John Farad, and welcome to episode 16 in the series called Five Small Stones. And these are five-minute Bible study videos. And lately, we have been studying the Bible as it's related to its geographical context. There are some events, some critical events in the Bible that really depend upon the geographical location. So we're going to travel again from our homes, travel to Israel. We're now going to focus on another geographical location in northern Israel. It's about 75 miles north of Jerusalem. And we're going to go to the Sea of Galilee. We're looking south the, on the Sea of Galilee, 13 miles to the southern tip, 7 miles wide. We're 700 feet below sea level at the Sea of Galilee at the surface. It can be very warm and humid here. It's surrounded by high hills and mountains. Some are 2,000 feet or higher. This forms a gigantic, huge bowl that we call the Sea of Galilee. So with regards to this geography, this lends itself to sudden fierce storms because you have the high hills with cool air. And sometimes that lake can be very warm and humid down at the surface. So you get a strong east wind from the heights. It can blow down from the hills. And storms arise without warning. And the swirling winds, especially in the bowl of the Sea of Galilee, whips up the waves into a dangerous, dangerous place. We read about this in Matthew 8.24 or Mark 4.37 or Luke 8.23. This is just before Jesus heals a demoniac orders the demons and, it, and the pig into the pigs and into the abyss. So in Jesus' day, for the Israelites, they looked upon large bodies of water, the sea, as the abyss, the place of demons, the place where demons live, the abode of demons. And so for the disciples in that boat, as they were going over to the other side, the Sea of Galilee was a picture of the abyss. So Jesus, perhaps sailing from Capernaum, he and his disciples crossed to the other side. They were headed to the east side of the lake. This place is totally pagan. It's likely that they were headed to the location that we call the Kersey Archaeological Park because of the cliffs there and the caves at this location at Kersey. Kersey is the low hill below the Golan Heights. This is where Jesus and the disciples were sailing when that storm came up. And again, the possible place where Jesus heals the demoniac and overcomes the demons. And just on the right side of this cliff, caves can still be found. Now we ask ourselves, is this where the demoniac hid when Jesus first came and landed at this place? It's the only location on the other side, the only location on the east side of the lake where there are cliffs that fit the story exactly. But Jesus calming the storm, that miracle, it's as important as the healing of the demoniac and maybe even more. Why? For the disciples then, God is the only one who had such control over all nature and over the abyss. This is so clear in verse after verse in the Hebrew scriptures, like Deuteronomy 11, 13 through 15, where it talks about the fact that God will send the early and late rains. Or Psalm 78, verse 26, where God says he's going to control the east wind and he's going to send the south wind. For them, they were seeing the scripture coming to life before their eyes. And here, Jesus calms the storm. And he shows his power over the abyss. But the text says, only God can do this. And then they asked, who then is this? When did Jesus ever say he was God. You'll never read that in the New Testament. But he just did. He just did it in a Jewish way 2,000 years ago. 
not with words, but with action. And he does that at a special geographical location on the Sea of Galilee. I'm going to see you in episode 17 when we go to another special location on the Sea of Galilee. Until then, Shalom.